Hello, hi, welcome to a new video. I'm Jacques. This is Mr. Pink Ink, and today we are starting a new read along. This is not a tandem read along, this is a Penguin Young Adult Book Club read along. This is my first one for this year. This is the read along for October. And let's unbox it quickly and then we can talk more about it. Okay? Okay, so um, today is the 11th of October. It's Friday. I received this book mail yesterday. Thank you very much, Penguin Random House and Penguin Young Adult, South Africa. Um, yeah, so this is the new October read along. It's my first one for this year. Um, super excited. So let's open it up, shall we? Let me get all the blue. All the blue. Okay. We have the letter. Um, that starts on the 12th of October. La 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 la. Ooh. I think there's a competition going for us. Also, if you want to join, you can use that code. Cool. And then we have a bookmark. You guessed the book. <laughs> Pretty cool, cool, cool. We have some of these playing cardy things. I'm assuming they're character based. This is the back of them um, one two three four five six seven and eight uh, they all have something that's in white, so I'm assuming that these are got to do with what they do, what they are in the game, or something. I have not read the Inheritance games, guys. I have not read them. I have them on my list to get, but I don't have it yet. And this is the book. The book. The book. La la la. And you can... Hopefully you can pause and not read, but you can check good reads, so that's fine. Uh, there you go. Okay, so this starts on Saturday tomorrow. It's for the rest of the month. We're going to read about three, three or four chapters every day. Um, I don't know how many days it is. I haven't counted. But anyway, um, I joined the Discord group to get these things. So this is the schedule. Unfortunately, it's in two parts. So I'll put both of them in there. Hopefully you can see both of them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So I have not read the Inheritance games, like I already said. So come with me while we read... The Grandest Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Only one can win. Um, I'm looking forward to this because I've heard many things about the Inheritance Games, good things. Okay, so I haven't read that. This looks to be a book one in, in a new spin-off, in a new thing afterwards. I, do, I don't know. Um, it just says in the title page, you know, we, the biography, biography, whatever, bibliography. This is the Inheritance Games, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this falls under the Inheritance Games Saga. Okay. Under the Inheritance Games Saga. See, it looks like a book one. I mean, yeah, it looks like a book one. Yeah, because next is Glorious Rival. So, yeah. So, just on a side note, Penguin Random House, please, <laughs> please hook your boy up 
with the inheritance game cycle please 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 or anybody else who wants to you know feel generous and just give me the things i need that'll be great <laughs> okay so i'm going to go ahead i've got my tabby tabs and i'm going to use blue to go with the blue and the blue and the blue Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm all ready for tomorrow. If you have a copy of a gratis game and you would like to read it alone, join us tomorrow. Check my Instagram because that's where we'll keep you updated. Um, yeah. How excited are you for this? Have you read the Inheritance Games? Hit me up down in the comments below and let me know because I want to get it as soon as I can. Which I don't know, it maybe never goes at the rate my life is going. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow at the start. Mwah. Day one of the grandest game read along by Jennifer and Barnes, um, Penguin Young Adult, Penguin Books Young Adult South Africa. And I'm sitting outside doing my marketing and I'm reading my book. So I'm reading today's section. Probably, I'm probably going to keep reading and then give you updates as we go because otherwise this video is going to take forever. So we'll just. We do one and see how we get as short as short chapters and as big words. Two of the things I'm loving so far. Short chapters, big words. Love, love. Big fan. Big fan. Hello, hi. <laughs> it's Monday night. Um, and I haven't read today's section yet because... I really, I want to, I want to do this. Okay, so we are on chapter nine. The short chapters, big words, blah blah. Like I said, again, please. I have not read the Inheritance Games at all. The four books before this, I have not read them. I have no idea who some of the characters are before here. So. That could be fun. Also, I'm avoiding the Discord discussions because most of the people have read the inheritance games. So I don't want spoilers. <laughs> okay. So we have met Rohan and Lyra and Gigi. Okay, he's very smart, he kind of knows things. She is exceptional at figuring out puzzles. And I don't know about her yet, but uh, we shall see. All right, so there are seven tickets to the grandest game. Okay, the prize I think is like 13 million whatever pounds dollars or whatever um whatever the currency is in the book three people get invited four tickets are wild cards they get hidden and they get a clue and then people need to find them um so what 
Lyra and Shiji have been invited. Okay. Rohan has found a ticket. So, we don't know who the third party is. Okay. Then the other four. Yeah. Have now come together. And they've been taken to a helicopter and have been flown out to an island, a remote island. Um, which is something from the previous book previous books okay you can you can tell these things <laughs> so as a few, as like some hours before the game starts the game starts at night okay and they are now needing to explore the island they've got time because uh, these things that they've hidden that might help them we don't know what they are so this is where we are Lara's doing some exploring um and so on and so forth, that's it. We do know the names of the other four players, but we haven't really met them yet. Uh, so this seems fun. Look, it's an easy read. The writing is, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's not adult writing. It's not overly complicated writing. It's meant for young adults and kids. So, mm-hmm. Um, it's going fast. I'm I'm having a problem stopping at the prescribed points. <coughs> so yeah, so we're gonna continue from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to we be filling in these cards as you've seen, um, on Instagram for our stories. So I'm gonna keep filling those in according to the chapters, and then I'm gonna give you an update every now and then because they are a lot. They are. A gajillion tabby tabs. Can you see? Can you see? So I'm I'm not gonna explain after every few pages. Uh, so I'll give you some updates every now and then, and then we'll put in the card cards, and then you can see my thoughts from there. But I will also update you with my thoughts in between. Uh, yeah, it's late. I need to do this for today, and then I need to do tomorrow's as well. So it's done. Um, I'm also reading reading. Can't spell treason without T, and I'm absolutely loving it. So, you know, you know, see you later. Bye. just past eight in the morning and it's turning out to be supposedly going to turn out to be a lovely day i'm still in the same clothes because i've been up all night after all <laughs> my internet lala for those of you who don't know i only have internet between midnight and seven for which i can am for which i can connect all my devices so i can use my laptop my computer blah 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 blah, blah and do my videos and so on and so forth so uh yeah, so I come out and I will shed layers as it gets warmer. The wind is still a bit cold. My hands are freezing still, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm no update. I'm just going to say that this is very reference heavy. So if you haven't read the four books before this one, you're not going to get a lot of things like me. You know, uh, I guess to a point where I can ignore some things because, you know, okay, that happened. Um, but sometimes you just can't. There's something that's just so obviously in your face that you just, you know, you need to know. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to read And now we are going to be reading like five chapters at a time, but as small chapters, maybe, yeah, so it's not a big deal, not a big deal at all. 
Okay, I'm just going about to start chapter 26. There's been a plot twist in chapter 25, uh, 24. And this video will contain spoilers. <laughs> because I can't tell you without spoiling some things, you know. I'm going to hide some stuff. But I have to say some things in order to move the story forward, you know. Okay. The so plot twist is that there is now a, an ace player. Surprise! Hoo -hoo. This makes sense now. Now we've got eight character cards in a box, so that makes sense. So the, the, the thing has started, and the first game has gone on, and something's happened, and pff, they've been divided into three teams. There's three teams now. The dynamic between these are going to be interesting, I think. So... I love, I love these cards because I've been playing around with them. Have a look at this. Mm -hmm, you see? So, Rohan and Subano have uh, been locked in a room by themselves. And Odette and Grace and, and Lyra, it's Lyra, not Lyra, it's Lyra, are in, in the group. And that leaves Gigi and Graham, Landry and Brady. I mean Knox, not Landry, sorry, Knox and things. So these are the three teams in the eight players. Um, and I know this now because these two were together and that's when we found the plot twist. And now we're in with Lyra, so now I know that, you know, these three are in a team. So that leaves those three, these three teams, so that's obvious. Interesting dynamics, don't you think? Okay, we don't know much about these. Oh, well, Alex for Gigi. Um, yeah, we don't know much about Odette yet, so, interesting. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to say much more. Um, a mystery has, has made itself known, but there's a mystery. So, Gigi, 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 Gigi uh, is intrigued by it. So, that's going to be a mystery. She's going to figure that one out. Well, I'm assuming. And then, the, like I said, there's been a plot twist. And also, some attractions are making themselves known amongst the players. Because romanticity, obviously. There has to be the romance there, right? So, yeah. That's where we are. Starting chapter 26. The game has begun. There are eight players. $26 million. So, yeah. And, and everybody needs it for their own reasons. Uh, we haven't found out reasons for a lot of other players yet so you know but but i'm enjoying this so far this is this is nice fast paced it's fast paced these things are happening in every chapter so you know you're not bored it's not it's not action packed because it's not that kind of a book but i mean it's intriguing i love it um and this this competition bites so you know that that's what i'm here for because that's what it says okay Ciao for now! <laughs>Welcome to Monday the 21st, we are halfway through, I'm absolutely loving this book, I need the inheritance games in my life, I really do, after reading this I need to read that, um, hopefully before the next book comes out, mm -hmm. um, I love great characters, there are some fascinating characters in this one, Odette is very mysterious, we no, I, I like her. She is the oldest player. Um, so, she's she's all cool. She's a cool cookie. So, we'll see what's going on. She and her opera glasses. She's very observant. So, you know, I like observant people. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, they're on to their second, their second part of the challenge um, of the escape room. Um, they've got to sunset. We don't know how many rooms they've got to get through. Um, so this is fun. Um, I am hating the fact that we have to stop at these points because it's so hard. 
so hot. Um, so I'm gonna continue reading, and uh, I'm just gonna read as far as I can because we halfway already, and 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 you know, stopping is hard. Stopping is really hard. I will see you later. I'm gonna go read now. Bye. Hello, hi, welcome to Tuesday the 22nd of October. <laughs> I am three quarters of the way through the grandest game. Loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, so there's secrets and the people are trying to solve mysteries and 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 attractions and 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 so many things. And in this game as well. Okay, it looks like that the game is going to be played across multiple books because we at the end of the first part, and we're at the end of the first book. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the teams, the three teams, are virtually head on head. You know, they neck on neck. As anybody's game still at the last part of the first stage um, it's a really good read uh, it's really fast read um, yeah there's plenty there's plenty to go in there for it we got the game you got the you got the romance well there's not romance exactly there's just attractions at the moment so that's pretty cool um yeah, and I've been reading. I'm I'm been making my daily updates in advance because I want to read the book. Bidish, okay? I want to read the book. I started reading this one, but I can't concentrate because this is what I can think about. Don't you hate it when that happens? Or do you love it when that happens? Tell me down in the comments below. I I don't like it. I think it's I think it's unnecessary. I think. I think life doesn't need to throw us these curveballs like that. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. That's that's basically it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's finally warm enough that I can wear a single layer. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to go back to reading. I'm going to see you. Maybe I'll have something to say before the end. Maybe I won't, but maybe I'll just see you at the end. Book and that's the end of this video. Bye, I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Bye for now. Hi, good morning. <laughs> it's Wednesday the 24th. It is uh, quarter to 6 a.m. internet time. So I, I need to record this before Sonic get finished and then it's done. Um, I finished this yesterday. Uh, <gasps> I loved it. I loved it a lot. I loved it a lot. Okay. Um, it's very reference heavy. So I do need then the first four books. There's four before this one. I have not read them. Okay. So I need those. Penguin. If you're watching this, please. Please. <laughs> Send me the inheritance game cycle. Um, yeah. So cliffhanger, like I said. Um, there was a bit of a disappointment before the end for me personally because I have my favourites. Um, uh, the writing is nice, I like it. Uh, it's clean, it's uncomplicated, it's flowing, okay. Um, uh, yeah, the story, the, the world building is based on, on a real world, on a real island. I don't know if the island is real, but I mean, this is based on the world before, so I can't base that, but, but I enjoyed it. Um, I love the characters. 
absolutely love the characters and I love great characters. Okay, this is both simultaneously story driven and character driven because now there's a split obviously because out of the eight players only five are going through. Spoiler alert by the way. Um, so that's where the next book takes off. We just finished the first part of the game. Um, but the players that are out are not out of the story from what from what we can see at that epilogue and that epilogue is introduces another dynamic to the story coming up. So I can't wait. I can't wait. The next one is going to be called one sec. Glorious Bibles. And this is like June next year. Oh, like almost a whole year. Okay. But I'm sure there's going to be four parts again. Mm. And of course, there's the short stories that's coming as well. So that's five books that I need. And then, of course, these four as well. So, yeah. Four stars. I absolutely enjoyed this. Looking forward to more. I need more inheritance games in my life. I need, need, need. I don't know if I'll be able to go into the next book because of this one. But I do. I do. It's the 24th. I have one, two more books on my TBR still to read. Mm -hmm. This this wasn't on my TBR. This, this was a surprise mail. So I added it on the school. Thank you very much, Penguin Random Mouse of Africa. Um, for sending me this book if you are an inheritance fan if you love romanticy this is very good and why do i like this kind of romanticy because the fantasy first romance second there's a build up to romance in here there's no romance yet there are attractions okay so that that's fine um but the focus is not on the romance that is my point there's a difference between fantasy romance and romanticy this is fantasy romance. Don't mix the two. Although I know romanticy is a mix of the two. Highly recommend, even if you... Okay, I don't recommend this. If you haven't read it yet, I recommend you read the Inheritance Games first. And then going on to this one. I haven't read it, like I said, and I do want to read it. So I will fix that ASAP. I don't know how long that will take me. Maybe the rest of my life. Okay, um, if you have read it, then you've got to get this, the, the Inheritance Games, you have to get this one. Um, there's no ifs and or buts about it. It is actually very good. I know this is later now than, written later than the beginning. So, you know, going backwards in time isn't always a good thing because you'll notice the difference in writing style. But that's fine, I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah. So if you've read it, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. Uh, let me know what you thought of the Inheritance Games. Um, good or bad. If you hated it, I want to know too. Uh, <laughs> and that, that's it for me. Um, yeah. Bye-bye from Cape Town. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.